Hi, I'm going to be talking uh, today about Ice Cream Sandwich and Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Uh, Ice Cream Sandwich was unveiled in an uh, event by Android on October 19, I believe, in Hong Kong to many uh, people. Ice Cream Sandwich is 4.0, Android 4.0, and it was a long speculated uh, OS many people were excited about. So uh, they came up with a flagship phone, which is called the Google Samsung Galaxy Nexus, and they uh, unveiled Android. 4.0. So we're gonna be uh, concentrating more on Android 4.0 than the Galaxy Nexus. But I'm just going to run through the specs here, which were unveiled at the event. So Galaxy Nexus is gonna be shipping uh, mid November. So I expect that to be coming up soon. Galaxy Nexus sports a Super AMOLED screen. It's not AMOLED Plus, so that's something to note. It is 45 glass and it's 135 grams. Four points. 6.5 inches which uh, trumps the iPhone's 3.5 inches so that's something to take note as it's really big it has 1 gig of RAM 16 to 32 gigs uh, internal storage and 5 me me megapixel camera with dual tagging it has a dual core 1.2 gigahertz Cortex A9 CPU which, uh, which will be blazing fast and that is no problem uh, for some uh, for applications to run okay so as the video plays, I'm going to be talking about uh, more of the features of Android instead of talking about what the video is such that you can watch the video. So in Android 4.0, it's going to be really delicious ice cream sandwich uh, and some of the new features are actually really innovative and uh, this could actually be the iPhone killer, the iOS killer as there are many uh, very new designs and features in Android 4.0 so I'm just gonna run through it so uh, the first thing is there's an option to use virtual buttons in the user interface instead of using the four capacitive touch buttons uh, below uh, there are widgets in the new tab listed in a similar list to apps Folders, there are folders now in Android 4.0 uh, with a drag and drop style similar to iOS which some people were talking about but you can put actually contacts and phone calls in your folders so that's very handy. There's a customizable launcher, a new phone app with visual voicemail functionality that lets you slow down or speed up voicemail messages. You can pinch to zoom in the calendar. Gmail has an offline search now to search for your mail and a new action bar at the bottom. You can swipe left or right to switch between Gmail conversations. Integrated screenshot capture by holding down the power and volume button so that's very handy if you wanna do screenshots on your phone. Improve error correction into the keyboard so it's spell check. Uh, ability to access apps from the home screen similar to uh, HTC Sense and also iOS which you can uh, access apps from the home screen without unlocking. There's an improved copy and paste, better voice integration and one of the most notable is face unlock. It's a facial recognition service which uh, the front facing camera recognizes your face and allows you to unlock without even doing anything. There's a new uh, tab web browser which allows up to 6 16 apps, uh, tabs sorry, uh, running at one time. The browser now automatically syncs to your Chrome bookmarks. There, uh, they added a modern Roboto tone, uh, font, sorry, and there's a data usage sec section in settings which lets uh, warns you when you reach a certain amount of use, and you can disable data when you go over your limit. You also get an ability to kill off apps that are using data in the background. So this is actually really handy for people who have data plans and uh, uh, cannot exceed their data limits. So the camera is one of the uh, cool features too. Uh, there's a zero shutter lag, time lapse settings. You can also zoom while recording. So it kind of replaces a uh, point and uh, click camera. Uh, Built-in photo editor, similar to iOS. A new gallery layout. Uh, you can organize it by location and person. Uh, refresh people apps with social network integration status updates. So Google Plus will also be uh, integrated in Android 4.0, deeply integrated and is similar to Facebook. So one of the other things is Android Beam, which uh, you may see in this video later. In the current video playing on your screens, Android Beam is an NFC feature that lets you exchange data if you put two Android 4.0 uh, phones uh, together at the back, uh, you'll see the feature later in this video. 
Okay. And you also can delete preloaded carrier apps such that uh, if you don't want a carrier app that your carrier has already pre-installed in your carrier uh, in your phone, you can also disable them. So uh, Android Beam will be coming up here in the video. And one more thing is in your notifications bar, yeah. Uh, you can actually swipe to the left or swipe to the right um, to remove your tabs. Okay. So uh, this is pretty much Android 4.0 and we'll be shipping with other phones. Android has promised that it'll ship with all uh, devices with 2.3 gingerbread and 18 uh, phones that were purchased uh, either 18 months ago. So they really want a unified system Android 4.0 such that all the Android devices are fully synced with ice cream sandwich. So Android is trying to update all their phones such that everyone can enjoy ice cream sandwich. As you can see in the video here, there's a single motion panoramic camera which you can just slide the phone to the left and right and you also uh, can see practically a really good camera view. This is the data usage. Just now you saw notifications sliding left or right to cancel. And next we will see Android Beam. So this is what I was talking about. If you have an uh, application and you put it uh, back to back, yeah, the other phone, Android, and the other ice cream sandwich phone will also get it. And so basically, this is an overview of what is to come for ice cream sandwich and Galaxy Nexus and Android. Thanks for watching.